Hello everyone. I've got another eight and a half by eleven layout for you, and uh, I'm gonna be. <laughs> this photo is my daughter's dog, and <laughs> it just kills me. I um. I on on Instagram there there's a whole backstory to this photo. So here we go. Um, on Instagram. I follow Bordurned, B-O-R-D-E-R-N-E-R-D, -E -E and she has the most super fantastic photos. Uh, wow. If you're on Instagram, really, you, you got to check her out. She fosters dogs, and she's uh, border, collie res uh, border Collie Rescue, and um, sh she's awesome, awesome with dogs, but she takes all kinds of photos of her dogs, and she takes these super shots of them catching treats so i thought oh, i'm gonna try this <laughs> well, okay so this is the result of that it's <laughs> nowhere near as good as hers but man this photo gave me a good laugh so i figured i'd scrap it it's a really uh, it's a really weird size i um i printed it out on like a five by seven photo and so it's almost seven inches wide. There's a there's a quarter inch uh, rim around the photo, and I think it's only I don't know three and a half inches tall, something like that. And then I wanted the white border around it. So um, here, what I'm doing is I stuck all that paper down that I tore, forgetting that my journaling needs to slip into there <laughs> so then I had to take out my EK success powder tool and undo my error and uh, that worked out really good and so now it's not sticky and my uh, I have this huge wood veneer card from um, a scraptastic club that I'm uh, that I'm gonna use and it was like a grab bag of wood veneer that was on I got around Christmas time and uh, wow, super fantastic. Uh, am I ever glad I got that grab bag? There's awesome wood veneer in it. All kinds of different shapes, different sizes, everything. Whew. So I'm going to use this huge card. You'll see after when I, when, uh, towards the end when I get it on. So I'm just going to fluff that paper up there. And I put a strip of uh, fun foam across the back of my, my photo again. There's the card that I needed to slip in. And so there's no journaling on it yet, but I, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to put some, some journaling on it. I'm thinking I'll um, print it on my computer with a typewriter font, that traveling typewriter. I like that font a lot. And cut the strips and then just glue them onto it. Because I, I don't have a typewriter. I, I would love one, but I, I don't have one. And Truly, it's getting a little tight space-wise in my scrap room, so I don't know that really I'm going to be chasing that very hard. So I just print it, and then you can kind of print it at whatever size you want anyway, so it's kind of nice. And to get that weekend word on... Um, see, I'm still laughing at the photo. I'm looking at it, and I'm laughing. She's, like, she's waiting for another treat so hard there. And uh, so anyway, I um, I decided glue dots would probably be the best way to get that weekend down on the on that uh, photo because when I use glossy accents on something big like that, I end up sliding it around, and you can see all my shiny glue. And man, that bothers me. And you know, there's no going back once the glossy accents is smeared all over the place. So I thought glue dots would be good way to go and then I really like clothespins I love the idea of clipping a little something you know on onto the layout and making it look like the clothespins holding it but every time I grab a clothespin I always find it way too high so I just split them in half now I just use the one side and I glue it down and then it looks like there's a clothespin there I mean the, the metal part isn't there but that doesn't really bother me I just use them anyway I suppose I could put a little piece of string around it. Maybe I'll do that next time. So that's, uh, see, that's another little uh, cute wood veneer that was in that pack there, that huge grab bag. The little, um, what do you call it, push pin there. And so what am I going to do now? Oh, 
Yeah, I'm showing you the photo corners. I paused the video, that's the die that I used. I was actually looking for actual photo corners, but I only had black ones left. So I remembered I had that die, and so I cut out four white ones, because I wanted white. I didn't, I didn't necessarily really want to see the photo corners. I just wanted more texture there, another little something there. And so the, I wanted the white ones, but like I say, I was out. So I uh, die cut four white ones, and that, that uh, fit the bill. And then these were also in that grab bag. Those uh, summer cork stars, and um, a couple, or one of them is uh, wood veneer. So it just gives uh, a little more texture, and uh, the photo is, like, there's a lot of green in the photo, so I thought the wood veneer and the cork and that would go well, because it's really organic. So, and I think, yeah, I think that's it. I'm just going to pull it up so that you guys can uh, have a look. And uh, there's funny chaos. And I must say, her name doesn't suit her. She's a super happy dog. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys.